Hi to everyone. If you remember, I annotated sheep images in one of my previous videos. Now I will train a sheep detector using that dataset. Ok, let's get started. So now I will go to training and click on the train model. Here we see three different trainers for object detection. I will check YOLO object detector. So you see here there is information button. So in order to learn how to use YOLO object detector, I will click on this button. As you see this page explains how to use the YOLO object detector. It also shows the expected structure of the training and the validation data. We see that all the images should be in the images folder and all the annotations should be in the annotation folder. Let's check how our dataset is. This is the dataset uh, I have. It has annotations of sheep on uh, sheep images. Here you see the images are in the JPEG images folder and the annotations are in the annotations folder. So the folder names don't match so that's why I will rename them. Okay, now here it also explains how the annotation file should look like. Let's check one of the annotation files. So our annotation file looks like this and expected, an expected format of the annotation file is this. So it should have at least file name and the objects in this picture. So we have here we have for example two objects. The first one is the blood cell. This is the bounding box and the second one is also blood cell and it has it has its own bounding box. So in our dataset, so this is one of the annotation files. So we see that we have file name and we have objects so the, the first object is this one you see that it has a name field sheep and this is the bounding box the second object is this one it has also the same format name and bounding box the annotation format is the same as the expected annotation format. The next step will be uploading the dataset to the Intellect AI server. I will use an FTP client to do so. You can choose your own FTP client. Here I have a Viper FTP. So now I will create a new connection. I will name it Intellect AI. and protocol should be SFTP address and port address is localhost port is 2222 username should be FTP user pass let's put slash Okay, let's now enter user password. Password should be the password you chose um, when you installed Intellect AI. Okay, now connected. Please mind that you can upload files inside upload folder here but not to the root folder. Okay, now I should upload my dataset to this upload folder.
Okay, my data set is this one. Now I will upload this one to the upload folder. It started uploading it. That's it. I uploaded the data set. Now it's time to train an object detector on this data set. So I go back to Intellect AI, go again to trainings, choose an YOLO object detector, give a name. Press explore and choose the data set I just uploaded. The, the rest of the fields are optional so I will leave them empty just for the demo. Okay, I created a training. Now I can start it. I press the start button to start the training and training has started now i should wait until training finishes when training finishes the progress will be 100 percent okay now i am gonna pause and resume after training finishes training has finished now i will check the training summary so here it it shows MAP score 0 0.5. So this is an average score. If it was zero, it would have meant that it couldn't fit the data. Okay, um, so you also see how the loss decreased over time. Now I will deploy it. The model has been deployed. Now we can choose a sample image to test it. Okay, as you see it found a, a sheep in the image. That's it, take care until the next time.